In the news this week, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong has announced a $19 billion plan to boost research and development efforts over the next five years. This is the largest amount that Singapore has ever invested in R&D. The Research, Innovation and Enterprise 2020 plan is expected to contribute significantly to the economy, create opportunities and jobs, as well as help workers survive technological changes. Two new statutory boards will be formed by year's end to drive skills mastery, ensure competitiveness and quality jobs for Singaporeans. The Education Ministry will oversee Skills Future Singapore, while Workforce Singapore will be under the purview of the Manpower Ministry. Deputy Prime Minister and Coordinating Minister for Economic and Social Policies Dharman Shanmagaratnam said that the new statutory boards will foster a culture of lifelong learning and develop a strong Singaporean core in each sector of the economy. A record number of students passed the O-level examination last year. 83.8% scored five or more passes in the national examination, the highest rate since 1995. Some 29,700 school students set for the examination. President Tony Tan King Yum will address the 13th Parliament later tonight after the first session opens. In his opening speech, President Tan will set the policy directions and outline the goals of the new government for the next five years. Do catch the live broadcast of the address at 8.30pm on Channel News Asia.